GoVacuum.com here today with the power nozzle comparison. If you've not seen my video on the three fundamentals of how to clean carpet, please take a minute to watch that video by clicking here. And once you do that, you'll see that you need height adjustment, you need a smart belt system, and you need a chevron style roller. Let's take a look at two German power nozzles here. Both of them claim to be excellent. And let's see what they actually have to offer. First off, I'm going to start off with my personal favorite, the SIBO. And this is the ET1. So, why is this power nozzle so good? Well, we do have our carpet adjustments right here in the front. Now, what's nice about the SIBO is you start off high with adjusting. Start off on four. That raises the nozzle all the way up. We turn on the power nozzle here, which I really like. And if we're too high off the carpet, this light will turn amber. What that's letting me know is, hey, it's time to lower me a bit. So, you basically lower it notch by notch until the light stops and it goes off and now you know you're properly adjusted for your carpet spinning at several thousand RPMs. So that's the first thing you have. The next thing you have is a chevron style roller where all the dirt gets channeled into the suction chamber path which is right here. Very easy clean out port. You can get in to clean it out should it ever get clogged and as you can see a chevron style roller from this side pushing it towards that suction chamber. The next thing I really like is the ability to remove the roller. So it does have a smart track belt right here and if you need to clean it off the pet hair or anything like that you just push here, this twists up, this pulls out and I twist my roller brush a little bit and look at that, the entire roller brush comes out effortlessly. I'm going to say it right one of these days, effortlessly and we're able to go in and cut off all of the pet hair and it's very easy to clean. Now let's pop this back in, as you can see no belt you had to contend with at all and no hair will get caught around this area here and if it does it's very easy to remove it and clean it out. A nice uh, bearing bushing system there and this just pops back in and you're good to go vacuum. So this is an excellent power nozzle, my favorite on the market. I sell it for central vacuums, I've had nothing but happy customers with the SIBO ET1. Let's take a look at the other one, the Mula power nozzle. Now this is the 236 power nozzle. Here you have five carpet adjustments um, and you have a reset light should the belt ever um, stop because you pick up something. Same thing with the SIBO, it will automatically shut off and the light will turn red. With the SIBO all you do is turn it off, the main vacuum, turn it back on. Here you push the reset button, so it's very similar in that sense. One nice thing about the Mila is you have a quick disconnect where you can take your foot, tap here, pull out the wand, whereas the SIBO you have to push it. So the reason why SIBO doesn't do that is because they usually break. And on the Mila it breaks and ask your Mila warranty center or your Mila um, dealer how much the new neck costs on 236 If you have that replaced for under $100 with labor, I will be shocked. Okay, so let's turn over the vacuum cleaner. You do have a headlight before we do that, which the SIBO does not have. So that is one feature that I do like about the Mila that the SIBO does not have. But let's take a look here. Our roller brush, to get in to clean, they gave us a nice channel here. So we can take our scissors and that channel or razor blade in there and do the same here and get it cleaned out. Over here, there's a little tiny one. Now that's nice. What I don't like is I can't remove the roller brush unless I remove half of the bottom here with the roller, uh, with the axle, and I remove the entire top. Underneath that, I have an entire shell that has to be removed. There are professionals, after 17 years in this industry, I still talk to professionals who will not work on this power nozzle just to change a belt or to clean out the roller with animal hair because it's that hard to do. So just ask your Mula warranty center, your Mula dealer, how much they charge to clean out the roller ends on the Mula 236. You will be shocked at the price. So let's flip this back over here. Now, again, that's how you would get into... Uh, take out the roller brush, you have to disassemble the entire machine. But you do have a chevron style roller where all the suction goes into the center suction chamber. Over here, I don't know what this is all about, but it pretty much stops right here. Um, so this doesn't work so great with edge cleaning. And uh, as far as edge cleaning on both of them, one thing that I really like here about the SIBO is you can see how thin the suction chamber is here for all the dirt to go through and get towards. Whereas here, it's much thicker. And this on this side is not even going to work. But your edge cleaner is on the dog leg side of your SIBO ET1. So, I think the clear winner here is definitely the SIBO ET1. Both power nozzles are made in Germany. Both claim to be excellent. Uh, the SIBO is my choice, and that's one reason why um, we now sell SIBO and not Mila. We give a 60-day in-home trial on the SIBO. 
Try it. If you're not happy with it, send it back. I can't give you a 60 day in home trial anymore with the Mila because we stopped selling them, unfortunately. Um, part of the reason being is we gave a 60 day in home trial, and if you return a lot of machines, you tend not to want to sell that machine because you lose money on it. Um, but with the SIBO, it's one of the fewest return vacuums that we've ever offered. So we love selling the SIBO, and you will love your SIBO too. Any questions, give me a call, 1-888-468-2210, 1-888-468-2210, GoVacuum.com. You can chat live with us at GoVacuum.com. Email us, info at GoVacuum.com. I'm Justin with GoVacuum.com, here today with the Mula versus SIBO power nozzles.